Hey everyone, Dan back with another video. Nate's with me today and we're going to take a look at this uh, British 24-hour ration that he uh, picked up here. Uh, where'd you get that, Nate? I got it from MRE Mountain. Um, I think it's mremountain.com. Yeah, they have a lot of a lot of cool stuff. So Yeah, they have they have a ton of international rations and I think they have a, they still have a couple um, <clears throat> older like vintage rations that you can buy. And he's always stocking up, so always give it, give it a, a check out if you're trying to buy anything uh, international. Pretty cool. All right. Well, without further ado, I'll let you uh, do the honors and okay. cut, cut this thing open. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna straight for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie though. I, I retaped the box, so when I got it at work, I was so excited that I, I just opened it. I couldn't wait. <laughs> so, so, so I retaped it. So it's. That's funny. Still, you, had this, you had this delivered to the office. Yeah, I can't. I uh, don't want it delivered to my apartment. So, I understand. That's my bad thing about apartments. Yeah, I was just. Oh, well, camera, we're good, we're camera, good. camera, camera. Camera. I was just pumped. There, but, I was just. So. <clears throat> All right. So we got the accessories bag. It's a wow. <laughs> Talk about a massive spoon. That's sport. a that's a serious spoon. So, you got like, like a trash can, bag there. Yeah, I can. We can go through. That. I'll go through that in a second. Let's see. What we got here? This is cola flavored drink powder. That's interesting. Like a non carbonated soda drink. Raspberry beverage. Another raspberry. A grapefruit flavored powder drink. Whoa, what? Hot chocolate orange flavor. Orange hot chocolate. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to try it out, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Fruit flavored energy drink. Oh, well, there's. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of interesting. There's no shortage of beverages in this. <clears throat> yeah. Smooth peanut butter, and this looks all very similar to what comes in a U.S. ration. Mm -hmm. And just like the peanut butter. But it. Oh, and it is. If you look, produced in the USA for Vesti Foods UK. So it is. It's made by the U.S. Yeah. Amari company. Yeah. See, the cheese and the cheese spread actually feels a little harder than. The, in the U.S. one, go, but probably pretty much the same. Got some brisket or briskets, biscuits brown, dash s. I'm not sure what the s is, but maybe that's sweet biscuits. Got this sweet fruit explosion. <clears throat> nice fruit. It's like one of those little kids' applesauce yeah. packs. That's pretty. That's interesting. It's pretty, pretty bomb. So, um, if anyone's watching this, check out the World War II 24-hour ration uh, we did. That one's not nearly as comprehensive as this. Oh, look at this. Pepper sauce. It looks like a five-hour energy drink. Hot diggity dog. Hot original pepper sauce. It's basically the British Tabasco, I would assume. Yeah. Cranberry uh, cereal <coughs> bar. That would probably be pretty good. Uh, Tissues. Oh, okay. To cry your tears away. D just I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's your butt ration slash snot rag. Right, so here are the entrees. Let me move this over here. <coughs> So ginger, wow, ginger pudding and ginger sauce, but it's solid. Hmm. So, well, a lot of the British puddings are like more of like a solid type thing than what we think of as pudding in the U.S. So, all day breakfast. Hmm. What do we got inside this? It's kind of curious. Pea, pea beans, pork sausage, salt, <coughs> mustard, spices. So that's gonna be interesting. Tomato puree. Hmm, okay. Well, that'll be interesting to try out. Um, this one's actually pretty cool. I didn't realize this was in here. Uh, Mexican tuna with pasta, and I'm a big tuna fan, so I'm totally okay with that. That'll be good. Yeah. Uh, however, I'm not sure why it's in a different... Yeah, it's uh, a little different pouch. Let's see who this is. This says produced in the UK for Vesti Foods. And what's that one? Who's that one? Produced by Vesti Foods. Okay, so this is. Okay. these are like subcontracted out, I guess, for the ration. And final, chicken and mushroom pasta. All right, so they give you quite a lot of food. So you got like three entrees and like a dessert, I guess, there. Okay, and these are the menu uh, lists for all of them, which I'm not sure give you a list of all of them. Yeah, I guess I guess you want to look for something. Uh, I'm going to pause the okay. Yeah, you can check those out. Dark chocolate chip biscuits. Why didn't we get those? That sounds pretty delicious. The British always seem to have some better foods. 
Yeah, this is <laughs> pretty cool ration. And look at that. There's even a feedback card. Yes. Obviously, the British are doing something right here. Yes, they don't. You don't find those in U.S. rations. I mean, so. Feedback prize draw. <laughs> wow. I wonder if this is valid outside. Of, yeah, we outside send this the back UK. to the Ministry of Defense in England. I wonder what you get. I'll have to ask my. Oh, they have a YouTube or a Facebook, Twitter. That's funny. Beyond the beaten track. That's actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm actually gonna have to check that out. Hmm. Okay. You're a big social media person, which uh, I'm guessing you are since you're on YouTube. Check that yeah. out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna get this stuff sorted out here, and then we'll be back with uh, breakfast. All right, so we're uh, we're back with breakfast here. We're gonna check out the all-day breakfast, a cereal bar, and then we're gonna make some uh, grape grapefruit flavored drink and some English breakfast tea. So, well, I also forgot um, on the intro to go over the accessories packet. But luckily, um, obviously, there's some tea and stuff in there, so I'll go over that while. Uh, I'm gonna get this. We're gonna heat. Put the food in we're there. gonna heat the uh, stuff in this mess tray rather than boiling it. We don't have like a big pot to boil in or anything here, so we're just gonna do it this way. And these, these don't come with a flameless ration heater like the U.S. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what's in there, but it actually looks pretty It's like good. beans and sausage, bangers and beans. I don't know. Oh, the British always call sausage bangers. It's just fun. Bangers, yeah. So it looks interesting. So I think that's about covers the contents. I'm gonna get the. Uh... Did they give you matches or anything in this? Yeah, oh. there's windproof matches. Okay, that was a good idea. Okay. It's pretty Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely like a, a hunk of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and. So, yeah, let's go finish checking out that accessory packet. <clears throat> and we'll get that going. Alright, so in the packet. Uh, so the tea, English breakfast tea, which I'll, I'll be making here in a second, because I actually like English breakfast, and um, it's a British ration, so why not? And uh, those are those windproof. Those are a lot matches. nicer than the, uh, you know, matchbook, U.S. Yeah. matches, that's for sure. They're pretty, I don't know, pretty hefty. Yep. Yeah, that's heating up good over there. Yeah, it sounds good. Some uh, moist towelettes. I'm just going to stir that while you go over that. Some chewing gum, spearmint, another moist towelette. That sweet combat spork. Yeah, that thing's huge. I wonder how. I mean, let's check the. I mean, it man, that's durable too. Yeah. It's it's up there with the U.S. coming on durability. Green British tea. So they gave you two packs of tea. I'll have to save that for one. You can never have too much tea. <laughs> Got uh, oh, sugar. Yep, yep, white sugar. White sugar. Go with the tea. Here. I think we got another, another white sugar. Yep, another white sugar there. Uh, we got some oh, Nescafe. Oh, that stuff. That stuff always comes. Cool. Oh, but this is pretty new. Yeah, so. this is this is newer. So it'll be all right. Oh, what is that? Oh, another instant coffee. Two types of instant coffee. Oh, Rombouts. It must be a British brand. Huh. It'll be interesting to try the different coffees. Yeah. Uh, oh, water purification tablets. I will not be using those. No, <laughs> those are good to have, but yeah. our water should be fine here. I actually might throw that in my camping bag. So, yeah. Well, and I think that's going to be about good. We can probably set that <coughs> aside. Yeah, that pretty quick. And then, uh, what, another creamer? Two creamers. Wow, three, three creamers. More sugar. I'm going to set this on something. Another sugar, and I'm assuming, yep, another cream. And yeah, baby, this, this is a yeah. pretty decent trash bag. Mm -hmm. That's what it's, uh, I think it's pretty well good for. And then we're going to bring, uh, bring that in. While I get that tea going, we're going to try the grapefruit drink. I don't have any British gear, unfortunately, in the collection, so we'll just use the U.S. stuff. Not any modern stuff, anyway. We did go over some cool vintage British stuff in that World War II video. It's pretty interesting. It's just clear. There's no dyes or anything in that. kind of looks like straight sugar. Yeah, it does. It's not like a U.S. Like Kool-Aid or something where they threw that oh. dye in there. 
straight orange or purple. Oh, now that you add it in, it's kind of turning a pink color. That's interesting. When it's dry, it has no color to it. <laughs> All right, we'll let that constitute up a little bit. And uh, I'll give you the honors of trying the... Uh, yeah. Trying that out. Oh. I mean... I can barely fit this spoon in my mouth. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, the powder on there tastes good. <clears throat> so, uh... Yeah, there's like little sausages yeah, in there. Sausages, and little, uh... I don't know what, other, I don't know what the other meat is. Chunks, really? it, it, it didn't really, it wasn't, yeah, there wasn't really a menu. Um, ingredients in that. It was just... It's some sort of pork. It's just all pork is what it says. Like chunks of pork and... It's basically beanie weenies. British beanie weenies for breakfast. Oh. I mean... It's not tasteless, but it's definitely not flavorful. <laughs> it could uh, it could use some flavor. We got some of that hot sauce we could throw on there. Oh, that's true. Okay, to be honest, yeah, it just tastes like the t canned beanie weenies you'd get in the it's store. It's kind of like a bland tomato, like paste. I wouldn't say it's a sauce because it's a little thicker. <clears throat> it's kind of like a bland tomato paste. Um, and it's not bad. It's just not... Hmm. That stuff said I got a kind of a... It seems quite fairly potent. Oh, wow. I mean, well, it's chili pepper, what I would assume. Anyway. Okay, well, we won't throw too much on there. See what that does for us. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try the, uh, a little bit of the grapefruit drink here. Oh. Actually, that made it a lot better. Hmm. Wow, that is pretty hot, though. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not into hot food or a hot, you know, hot sauce. But that was actually pretty, pretty warm. Yeah, that helps it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'll let you go ahead and finish it off there. I wonder. You know what? I didn't see any salt or pepper. No, I don't think they gave you any, which is interesting. That's um. Yeah, no, yeah, that's actually kind of a bummer. No salt or pepper. Yeah, it's interesting. It's it would, it could, it could use. I'm not gonna lie, it could use a little bit. Of yeah, it, salt. it literally just tastes like the canned beanie weenies, but like the meat's a higher quality. It's like a higher quality beanie weenies. So, the grapefruit drink's pretty good. It's uh very, very grapefruit, very it. strong, especially it's considering how much I missed. <laughs> oh wow. it in. Whoops. Yeah. But I didn't yeah. add a lot of water, so wow, it's still pretty is, strong. It's like a good amount you missed there. Yeah, I, I, I messed <laughs> that up. It's yeah, it's more of like a purple now. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely like a pink when you first made it. It's got a strong electrolyte flavor, so I think it's be pretty good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is actually pretty good. You can definitely taste the electrolyte. It's also kind of sugary. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I guess the other half of this breakfast is the uh, <laughs> cranberry <laughs> cereal bar. So it looks pretty good. Oh, that is really good. It's really like a, like a high quality granola bar, mm -hmm. like something you get at like Earth Fair or something. Yeah, there's. I mean, it doesn't taste fake. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, like some of the uh, I, yeah. stuff you get at the grocery store. Yeah, it's, it's for a ration food. So far, it's pretty impressive. Um, Hats yeah. off to the British. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get some of this tea. Here. I'm actually gonna finish that in a second. Oh yeah, that's it's still pretty good. It just isn't that. It's like, I mean, <clears throat> it definitely looks like a, a solid breakfast tea. Well, I dump that tea bag. You can toss it in here. Yeah. Trash bin here. I'm uh, I'm just gonna drink it straight. I guess normally I put sugar and creamer in it. I guess that's maybe like an American thing to do. But... I think the British are big on cream too, actually. Uh, well, I, I'll, I'll I don't think they gave us any cream though, did they? Oh no, yeah, they, they, did. they gave, Oh, they gave you a lot of creamer. Yeah, that's a big British thing: cream and the cream and sugar in the tea. So, well, I mean that's pretty good by itself. Um, definitely, I mean definitely could use. That's a pretty, that, that is definitely a high quality tea though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a good breakfast tea. So I guess I'll slap uh, this sugar and cream in. Yeah, yeah, try that out. It's still pretty good. I mean, honestly, like compared compared to most of the, uh, well, most of all of 
<clears throat> the MREs that I ate when I was in, and I'm sure Dan can probably vouch. Uh, yeah, the, this is definitely a step above the U.S. MRE. I think I'm gonna, as far as the quality. Granted, the MREs that are coming out now are have really come a long way, but this is definitely a step above the ones that were around, say, yeah. 10 years ago. And it is a 24 hours, so I'm not sure if you know the food's supposed to be a little bit better. Uh, you know, I'm just used to the single single MREs. Although I have had a first strike. Um, and it's basically just a bunch of MREs thrown together. <clears throat> no, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm, try know, a little bit. Like a little bit of salt and cream there. Definitely like a smooth. That is a really good tea. Smooth, easy to drink English tea. Yeah, I do love you know English breakfast tea. Yeah, I definitely like English and this tea. This is good to wake you up a little bit too. Yeah, so this would be a pretty uh, pretty hearty start to the day, I think. So <clears throat> I mean, it's already made me happy, and I'm a little hungover. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> so I mean, it's it's Sunday morning. Doing here. a yeah, doing a great job in Ohio. So so uh, well um, we'll clean this up. I'm actually gonna drink the rest of all of this, honestly, and take a little break, and then we'll um, be back with uh, lunch. Yep. Alrighty, so we're back with lunch. Uh, we're gonna do the tuna Mexican tuna with pasta. We got the biscuits with cheese spread, the fruit explosion, and then we're gonna try out the cola uh, flavor drink and the raspberry drink uh, with uh, this meal. So I guess we'll uh, go ahead and open up the tuna. So you can open the tuna. I'm, I'm gonna go straight for the biscuits here. That sounds pretty good. So. I like the packaging. Yes. Any of the British biscuits are usually pretty good. Oh man, that's got some interesting. Uh, that actually looks really got, like good. corn and shit. Man, this actually looks pretty good. Oh, it smells fantastic. Oh wow. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, with some beans in there, maybe. It does smell really good. It's a very like you can smell like the corn and like the Mexican seasoning. So the beans. It looks pretty delicious. I'll go ahead and uh, spread that out there. Um, the biscuits, a little broken. They smell kind of weird, though. I don't know if that's, uh... Yeah, they look like a Triscuit type of biscuit, yeah. almost. Like a lot of whole grains in that. They smell a little weird. Kind of like, uh... Hmm, I'm not going to try one. Yeah, I, I'm not going to already have some, but... <laughs> they smell kind of funky, but I mean... They you taste, know? They still taste pretty good. It tastes like a Triscuit. That's really what it tastes like. So that's going to be good with the cheese. It kind of smells like, uh, I don't know, like glue. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little bit like glue. They taste good. They still taste really fresh. Oh, it is. Yeah, let me hear it. I can taste it. Try not to make it all inside the uh, cup this time. So it says to mix in 500 milliliters of cold water. We're just going to eyeball these and see. It's interesting. I was curious to really try a cola flavored drink that isn't carbonated. That's that's gonna be interesting. It smells pretty good. Oh, it even kind of looks like. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of like powder in there. So. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight for this. I'm not sure what all I should. Oh. Is that that's tuna a, or is that like chicken? That's a big piece of tuna, man. Those are wow. big chunks. So. I want to get kind of a little bit of a little bit of everything. There we go. So we got some corn on there. I think that's a bean of some sort. Stirring up that cola drink. It's starting to dark brown. It's starting to kind of look like soda. <clears throat> well, it's definitely tuna. The, uh, wow. The, like, sauce. Like, I don't know if you can see that. The sauce itself is actually really good. It's kind of like a Mexican, uh, uh kind of like a Mexican chili taste with the beans. And then just kind of the pasta by itself. I'm going to try some of that. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty delicious. Wow. That is really good. Mm-hmm. I'd have to make, I'm going to have to make this at home. It's, yeah, it's definitely um, flavorful. The quality of these entrees is really impressive. That's what, that's what's really uh, um, just impressive about these. Even the aftertaste is really good. It doesn't taste, like if someone, if you served this to somebody, you would not think that this was out of a retort pouch. No. Maybe that's a, a U.S. thing. It like, tastes totally fresh. Maybe we're just used to a little bit different. I don't think these have quite the shelf life that the U.S. ones uh, do, and that's probably the difference, the trade-off. These are, like, the flavor and quality is a lot better, but I don't think they last as long, so. 
I'm not sure exactly what the shelf life is on these. I think it's, well, it says 2019 to use by, so only three years. Yeah, well, this is 2016 ration, so I'll, I'll put that in the description, but it's not old, but it's not new. Yeah, and uh, it says to use by 19, so. Yeah. So Dan's trying the cola. Really it, it smells like cola. Yeah, it's, it's, we, it's like, I don't, it's like, it tastes like flat cola. Yeah, it, it's interesting. I'm going to try that raspberry. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is purple. Yes. <laughs> It smelled good when I was stirring it up. It smells like an artificial, um, you know, raspberry, obviously, but... I'm going to go ahead and knead up this cheese spread. It, it actually tastes real, though. Kind of like if you were to go to the grocery store and just get some, like, um, ra like raspberry juice, like mixed, mixed ras juice. Like, that's pretty much what it tastes like. I'll let you try the cheese spread, I know you like this stuff. I, I oh. Know. I am, I am I am a firm believer in the U.S. cheese spread. I will put that on anything. It's okay to me. So I'll let you uh, do the honors. Look, I'm assuming I can get it open. Oh, that's a good yeah. A flat. Just tastes like flat soda, which I'm not a huge fan of flat soda. So it's kind of it tastes a little watered down. Honestly, yeah, and I may have added a little too much water. I mean, I, it, there was quite a bit of powder that came out of that packet. Yeah. I'm gonna let you open that. For some reason I can't I can't get it. Oh yeah, that's cool. There's not like a tear notch on no, it. No, there's not. There's the serrations on top for when they cut the bags, but might have to use the uh field knife there. I don't know, it'd be just like kinda we see if you can make a cut in the top of the I don't know if it'll work or not. Oh yeah. There yeah. it did cut right this in. This is American made, right? Yeah, it's a okay. US uh no wonder Air Force survival knife. No wonder so. it worked. Hopefully no rust got in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks just like the, the US cheese. Yeah, I'm going back in for some more of that tuna. That was yeah, good that, that is good tuna. Even the tuna itself is good. So yeah, we're just going to straight for the cheese. Ooh, I feel like you can't knead this very good. I tried kneading it, but there, it's the packet, very, the, it's kind of dense, and the packet was pretty full. So. Well, it's, it's also just a very dense cheese. Yeah. So. Looks this. like your typical process. Yeah, cheese. typical, like, yeah. Kind of, it kind of looks like wax. It does. Yeah. Actually, it does look like wax. Those crackers are definitely a step above the U.S. crackers, that's for sure. Um, oh, it's a pair with the cheese. Honestly, the the cheese isn't very strong for it being a cheddar. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, the, you would think here, grab grab these. You would think the cheddar would be, you know, a little strong. I know the like plain was always cheddar. a little, you know, I know like the bacon and jalapeno was always the stuff that was really popular over the plain. I mean, it's good. Yeah, it's fairly mild, but it does pair well with that Triscuit type mm. crack biscuit. I'm gonna go for my childhood in a bag. Yeah, it looks like uh, something <laughs> feed a toddler, but I'm sure it's good. Oh, oh. I'm sure, if you squirt oh. it out onto your enormous spoon, I didn't, it'll be I didn't with... realize there was like a seal. Yeah. So. I think you can just. Oh! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you think you just yeah, splooge some? Uh, well, you saw how it looks like. Yep. Basically, just kind of like a applesauce. Squirt some on the spoon. I think get a little more so you can you can see. Oh it. yeah. I mean, oh, it literally just tastes like applesauce. Oh, it looks like baby food. It literally, well, yeah. it literally just tastes like applesauce. It, it's pretty much baby food, yeah. But I mean, it's a good nutritional item out in the field. I don't mind it. It's kind of like the. Uh, I'll go back to the first trick. It's kind of like the first strike applesauce, but not as sugary. It's a little more yeah. simple. Maybe a little more natural, maybe? Yeah, everything, you know, like I said in here, is like very like high quality. It doesn't seem like it has a lot of like extra preservatives. I mean, it has to have some in it, obviously, but it just, everything's really good. It doesn't have that real like artificial processed food taste. It seems like all stuff fresh you would get at the grocery store. It's, it's really like, impressive. Kind of like in the cheese now. Yeah. Hats off to the Ministry of Defense for putting together this this ration. It's really good. So I think that well, that pretty much wraps up lunch. So um, we're gonna finish this up, and then we're gonna be back here with the last portion of uh, this uh, British 24-hour. All right, so we're back with uh, dinner portion, the last portion of this 24-hour British ration. We got the chicken mushroom pasta, and then I'm assuming this is some sort of dessert, the ginger pudding and ginger sauce. And then we're going to try out the hot cocoa drink with orange flavor. That's just going to be interesting. We got a strawberry uh, energy drink and then uh, chewing gum. We got some peanut butter to finish off those biscuits. And then some rombouts 
British coffee. So it also came with Nescaf, but that's pretty generic. So we thought we'd try the, the Rombouts. So I guess we'll uh, start with getting this uh, chicken mushroom pasta out. Yeah, I'll it. pour some of these uh, drinks in there. Okay. Strawberry. And there's a couple different flavors, I think, but that kind Yeah, of... so at first I was <clears throat> I was wondering about the packet because it says peach iced tea, lime flavor, and then, and then refreshing strawberry. So at first I thought they were mixed, and I just thought that was going to be weird. And then I opened my eyes and saw that it tells you what it was on the bottom. So those are all the options. So this is a chicken mushroom pasta. Hey. Now, in theory, I think these would be better if you actually boiled these retort pouches, but I mean, who who's carrying like a pot around in their rucksack out in the field? So <laughs> I really don't know what the ideal way to actually, the British used to eat these. If anyone knows that's out there, yeah, like give us a shout out. But could you guys make a fire and put it... Yeah, I mean, I guess you could fry, like we, you know, like we did the breakfast portion in the mess kit, but I don't know if they do that or not. All right. That looks, uh... It looks like it's... Different. Yeah, yeah, it looks different. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like standard cocoa powder. I'll let Nate smell it. it smells rich. I think it's going to be pretty good. Take a, take a... Oh, wow, yeah. It's definitely got a strong uh, chocolate scent. They give you a lot of powder in there, so... Water? Um, it, what does it say on these? It says 500 milliliters. That seems to be the standard. I don't know, maybe, like, a quarter of the cup there. That's probably good make it rich and if it's too rich we can always add more but hot cocoa is always good when it's rich that. i'm gonna add the water in yeah well, the coffee Thank yeah you. i'll give them like that oh yeah i think you're gonna have to add a little more water it's kind of looking like a pudding <laughs> uh, well hey, that might not be a bad thing yeah a little bit more there we go let's see let's get that stir in there the oval shape of these kind of makes things oh, stirring yeah. a little always a little awkward you always end up like spilling something. all I'm right actually, i'm gonna go to this peanut butter yeah try, yeah that looks like, once again, a U.S. item. And I think once we start heating that, it'll probably uh, con reconstitute a little bit more. So I'm going to get the S. Yeah. Got to knead in the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Always got to get those oils mixed Need in. Need some funky noises. Come on, little S. Bit. <clears throat> we were going to use the wind-resistant uh, matches that were in this, but then I realized... Well, we both realized the the striking face on them is just a basically piece yeah, of paper. They, they just give you like a little thing, but I'm like, I don't know, you would hold it or put it on the ground, but yes. it's not the best design, I don't think. So we're think. just going to keep it off to the side. Let's keep using the U.S. I'm still going to add a little bit more water to that. It's like really thick. They give you a lot of powder. It's looking like, still looks like pudding. <laughs> add a little bit more to it. Let it heat up. Definitely smooth peanut butter. This tastes like on really good fresh peanut butter. Well, I guess let's try that entree out. <laughs> see, uh, see how that is. Also, on a side note, I keep forgetting to use this, but the sheer size, I mean, I don't... It's, it's a big spoon. The I mean, sheer, that's, the, that's the, the American spoon, to give you yeah, a comparison. The sheer but. size of this spoon and the least enjoyment using it just really it's just too big i just yeah. don't want to use it I, I don't know i'm not a big mushroom fan so i'm gonna get a little chunk off the side yeah i mean it kind of almost like an alfredo or creamy mushroom type sauce it's not bad a little bland like the first entree <clears throat> it is kind of bland I, that mexican tuna was obviously the best of this ration for sure oh yeah that had definitely had some flavor right out of the package this definitely needs some. Ooh. Yep, we have a little. These things, this US uh, MS, MRE cup doesn't always fit the best on this German Espit stove. I wonder why. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't like each other, apparently. <laughs> well, that's pretty well heated up anyway at this point, so. I kind of. I think we said this off, off camera, but I kind of wish that there was some salt and uh, like pepper in this ration to add to some of this stuff. I had to open up uh, you know, a US accessory packet to get this on. Yeah, um, trying to get this situated here. Yeah, that's definitely, I was just about to say that before you did, the one thing lacking. <clears throat> there's just no, passion. there's no, I don't know. I mean, this is good, the, you know, the chili pepper. If you like hot, that's good, but if you don't like hot, um, it, it's definitely not the best thing. I just, you know, I just want some salt and pepper. Not, not referencing the song. 
the, <laughs> the, you know, the artist group. Push it real good. Yeah. Push it real good. Yeah. Definitely, um, definitely needs no. some... That some hot chocolate is pretty freaking good. I think that's up there with that cold weather ration hot cocoa we did. And the orange flavor is actually surprisingly good in there. Oh, I can kind of smell it. Oh, yeah, it, you can smell a little bit. That is really quite good, actually. I'm impressed. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, you can... It's not overpowering the, the orange. Oh, we didn't stir the uh, fruit drink. Sure oh, that. I got excited. Yeah, I mean, you, it's definitely not the straight orange. Yeah, it's just a hint of orange, but it definitely uh, is good. Yeah. It's very rich. It's, yeah, it's I actually, think I got the water just right on that. It's actually perfect, to be honest. I, I honestly wouldn't mind getting this at, like, the grocery store. I think, it, you know, I think you can if you look at the Lando Lakes, and I think that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, I mean, this is okay. This is, like, something out of a U.S. ration. It's kind of what it reminds me of. The pasta-based stuff in the retort pouches is always, like... It smells mm. like strawberries. Okay, it's just never that great. Oh, wow. Well, not even... There's a bunch of, like, sugar at the bottom. It, 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 yeah, you need to stir it more. I stirred it, but I don't know that it reconstituted that well. I'm going to go ahead and... It's uh, almost like, I mean, you can't really add more water, because, I mean, already it's kind of at that level. Yeah, I think I got the water amount fairly close. I added a similar amount to the hot cocoa. It was, I'm going to go ahead and add the round bouts mm. instant coffee in here. It's, uh... It's like your typical granulated yeah, instant coffee. Yeah, just like the Nescafe. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like, is Nescafe. Oh. Uh-oh. Just like drop that in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, extremely sugary. I don't know if you can see that, but that's at the bottom. Yeah. It's straight up sugar. Those drinks, I mean, they, sometimes they just don't reconstitute as well. I mean, it's hard to stir them really well in these oval canteen cups. I think it's part of the issue. Without, you start stirring them too much, your stuff starts launching out. I mean, I'm gonna just drink this sugar straight up. You always could try adding some more water, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I think it yeah. needs more water. We'll add a little more water to that. Yeah, I'm gonna start... The hot co that coffee's still heating up over there. You think it'd be a little stronger though? I mean, it, I don't know, you can't really see it on camera, but I mean, it's very it's very clear. Clear, yeah. It's a very hint coloring. Really, I think this hot cocoa is probably one of the best beverages in the uh, in the ration. It's really good. It is very good. And next to that tea, that English tea in the beginning was really good too. So we tried the. I'm gonna try a little bit of that peanut butter on one of the crackers and then I think we're gonna get that pudding out onto the tray. It is some smooth peanut butter actually. It's oh that's very smooth. It's a little better with the water in it. Seems like it's fairly mixed up. Mm -hmm. Still I don't know, it still just tastes watery. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna tell it's not it's just not the strength that you would Yeah, I mean it tastes the strawberry, it's a little watery. It's not as strong as the other beverages, but you also the pack it's definitely, it was a 60 gram. How, where is that pouch at? Did we put it too long? Oh, oh well. But yeah, I think it definitely wasn't as much to it. 45 grams. Oh, okay. So that these were 60 grams. Those were 45, so not as much. Well, that coffee's probably about ready. If you want to taste that out, why? Uh, yeah. That peanut butter goes really well with those crackers. Yeah, it is definitely smooth peanut butter. I mean, was... See how that Rombot's coffee is. It's very, I mean, very dark. I think, I think we did well with the water. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like a nice rich coffee. It's definitely a strong dark roast. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's it's definitely a good coffee. I mean, it's very flavory, very strong. Uh, definitely will wake you up. I guess this might have been, this might have been a little better for breakfast. I don't know why. Kind of kind of wake you up. It's a little a little stronger kick. Oh, here's that date pudding. It's like a <laughs> solid mass in there. It's very, it's very sweet smelling. It almost kind of smells like a cinnamon roll. I'm gonna add some sugar. And it is. It's like a bread pudding is what it kind of is. What I think it's supposed to be. It kind of looks like uh, I don't know if anyone's had it, but like flan. It does kind of like Mexican pudding. It does kind of look like a flan. Hmm. Pudding chunk. Add some creamer to that. Uh, yeah. Coffee there. So. <laughs> that hot chocolate is really good. Definitely up there with that RCW hot cocoa we had. And that, once again, way better than Swiss Miss. <laughs> I don't think we're going to finish this mushroom pasta. I think that's going to go to the dogs. It's okay. It's good, but it's not great. That tuna is the best thing. So, yeah. As far as the entrees go. Oh, yeah, the uh, included chewing gum. We'll try that's that out at the very end here. Let's get some 
Yeah, I left it on that. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That is I'm gonna try it. That actually is a really good yeah, instant that's, coffee. That's I think it's better than the Nescafe. Oh, it's interesting that they give I you two this. different kinds. I wonder if one is meant for like one's a stronger one for the morning. Oh wait, I keep forgetting to use these. Yeah, the British tissues. British butt rations, basically. Like your like tissue you'd pick up at like the CVS or something. I don't know. There's not too much to be sad about with this ration. It's pretty. It's been. I'm really impressed, honestly. It's probably one of the best rations we've reviewed. And you're you're British. What's what's there to be bad about? So I'm I'm gonna take a chunk of this. Put them in. Yeah, I'm curious to see. Let me know oh, what that is. Oh, it's definitely hard. <laughs> It's probably that, something that yeah you would heat up chunk. if you ha if we had a way to boil those pouches. It's actually kind of like a banana, like a hard banana bread type gossety. Hmm. It with is a, hard. A slight, slight bit of ginger. I mean, you can taste the you can taste the the ginger in it, but it's sweet. It's good. Yeah, I it's do not like bad. It. Yeah, I mean that's pretty good. It's weird. I, it is. It's like. It's just a strange a, texture. It's it's like almost like a flan, but more dense. Yeah, it's like a it's yeah. I imagine it's supposed to be kind of like a bread pudding, like a shelf stable bread pudding. If that was warmed up, it'd probably be fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm you know, I could eat that. That's good. I think the only thing in this ranch I really didn't care for much was the just the mushroom pasta. Not that good. It'd be better hot, but still, it's I'm not a fan. I mean, I, mushrooms okay. It's nothing. It's like it's kind of like the breakfast. It just is really bland. There's there's just not much flavor. Um, it's still good. I mean, the ration overall fantastic. This Rombouts coffee fantastic. Maybe I can get some in the states. Who knows? Yeah, I mean that <laughs> hot chocolate. I mean, it's, oh, this it's is actually good. pretty cool. We'll finish off with this gum, and it's actually in a little resealable pouch. It's got a Ziploc on it, so. Mm -hmm. and, and there's actually a decent uh, amount of uh, gum in there, so, oh, well. you know, well, I think we're wrapping up here. While we finish this ration up, we'll listen to God Save the Queen. <laughs> I need you to try a piece. Oh, awesome. Check the website out. Oh, they got a website there, too. This is pretty good gum. It tastes like, um, like dentine or something. It's very strong spearmint, that's for sure. It is. We salute you, the British, for putting together a great 24-hour ration. Really yeah. high-quality stuff. And the the amount of menu items. I mean, they really it'd really be hard to get menu fatigue on these rations. There's ten different options. Ten options, and there's quite a variety. If you traded them up and mixed things up as you were uh, out in the field with your guys, I think you could really put together a good variety of stuff. We've got to talk about this sport, though. Please downsize. Yes, yeah, so if anyone's from the British Ministry of Defense is watching, a smaller spoon. It's just huge. It's, it is ginormous. I don't know what you're supposed to do with a spoon that big. I mean, obviously it's combat spork. Yeah. Because. I mean, I guess you could use it as a weapon too. Maybe an entrenching tool. So. I, I, regardless, it's just it's just too big. Well, that pretty much concludes this 2016 British 24-hour ration. Overall, really good. And with that. God save the queen.